Hey guys, uh, as I'm sure you can tell by, you know, my differentness of everything, um, I did scaly stuff to myself, like, you can see it goes all the way up through there, and, yeah, and all the way down there. And on my hand. Yeah. So today I'm all decked out in black and red and uh, stuff for a sort of humanized smog outfit for going to see the second Hobbit movie because I've got a bunch of friends that like to dress up for movie premieres and whatever, and like uh, movies that they're gonna go see. I haven't really done anything like this aside from the Harry Potter movies where I have gone to a Harry Potter movie in a wizard's robe, which I'm sure there's plenty of people who have done. I think I've actually gone in like complete Ron Weasley outfit, but yeah. So, I kind of did this as, like, smog, dragon, scaly type makeup, and I'm going to go to the movies with my family in this, because this is a thing, and I'm really excited for the second Hobbit movie, because I loved The Hobbit as a uh, the book as a kid, and I really liked the first movie, so I'm hoping, here's the hoping, that the second movie uh, lives up to my childhood expectations and my current expectations, and that it's worth not going to the movies with my glasses, because, hold on. This is all cool and tough and stuff, but, like, it doesn't work with glasses. It just makes me look like I have a skin condition. <laughs> so, as you can see, I'll be going without glasses. Not that my vision's bad enough that it's a problem, but, you know, it makes it a little harder to focus on things. Oh, and this shirt is totally a uh, work in progress costume shirt that I've been working, I was working on and then I lost and I just found it. So it's like, hey, you know, this kind of works for a BA dragon. Let's do it. And I'm also really excited for Benedict Cumberbatch voicing and having done the, uh, like the movement capture for Smog because, well, Benedict Cumberbatch is an awesome dude and the loves, my, my scaly love for him. Also, I have this little ring on and I got this ring when I was a kid from a family member. I was literally like really young, like seven or eight maybe, I want to say. And I've also got this key that I'm wearing around my belt loop, which is hanging from a chain, and it's a key that I've had, because I figured, you know, because he's a dragon, and because he's on his little, like, pile of uh, treasure, it would be cool to have some sort of, like, jewelry to, to show that it's, like, my pile of treasure without being like, hey, I'm Perry and Bling. So I'm going to get picked up in a little bit and go see that movie, and I will give my non-spoiler uh, opinion on it when I come back. See you guys for now until I come back. Okay. Hello again. So I am back from the movie. And I have my little ticket stub right here. Um, right there. Hobbit. 
but yeah, I went to the second Habit movie, and it was pretty good, actually. I will say I like Keeley quite a bit now, and I will also say that I have huge mad respect for my friend who wants to cosplay him eventually. Um, I also am kind of impressed that all this is here. I mean, some of it on my hand is a little worn, but as far as my face and neck, most of it still stayed pretty fresh. Um, yeah, it was a really good movie. I actually ended up seeing some of my friends at the theater and sat next to a couple of them, which was kind of cool because I was not expecting that. And it was friends that I hadn't seen in quite a while. So, you know, pretty good stuff. I also really liked uh, how Benedict Cumberbatch's voice for Smog uh, was not the stereotypical voice that you assume you'll hear from Benedict Cumberbatch. It, it's a lot smokier and raspier, and it really did feel more like a dragon than it did, like hearing Sherlock from the BBC, or whatever else you might know Benedict Cumberbatch as. It was kind of funny seeing uh, Smog's facial expressions, though, because although, uh, although Benedict Cumberbatch's voice wasn't exactly his own, uh, you could still definitely tell that the face capture was taken from uh, his own face, and you could definitely see the uh, expressions and stuff that he did, and, like, you, you could definitely tell, you could definitely tell that it was his face. I would suggest going to see the second Hobbit movie if you've seen the first. The first was better, but the second was pretty good. Also, Legolas is in it, so for any of you fans of Legolas, you've got your uh, lovely elf man in there too, so, you know, I said so a lot. I apologize, but I am quite tired. I've been up for at least 24 hours now, which is normal, but it's been quite a uh, eventful 24 hours. So I'm going to end the video and edit and get all this, all this, 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 yeah, all of the stuff off my face and hand, and I will see you guys later. Bye! Am I scary yet?